Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well and welcome to this new Cinema 4D tutorial. And uh, today in this tutorial, we'll be learning to create some unique shapes and objects with uh, some MoGraph objects and you know, with some uh, deformers and you know, all cool stuff. So this is what we'll be creating. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to grab a sphere. <coughs> And we want to set the segments to 40 and uh, after which we want to go and make this editable we just uh, increase this space over here okay and then what we want to do is we want to go to the top view and we want to select the uh, light selection tool and uh, here I have unchecked only select visible elements so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a and I'm going to hold down ctrl and I'm going to deselect these okay let's uh, zoom in a bit so we get the uh, correct ones and uh, if I press delete we see we have only this so this is what we will be needing so if we go back to our perspective view we have something like that looks like this pretty much and then what we want to do is we want to take a bend deformer and we want to drop it in the sphere and uh, here I'm going to go <coughs> and set the strength to around 292 so uh, Kind of uh, let's zoom back and see that it looks like that. And we want to go and move this bend deformer up. And in the coordinates, we want to set that to say oops, not on the Z, on the Y, we want to set that to around 60, which will look something like this. So once we have that, I'm just going to uh, click on the traffic light over here to disable it so that it doesn't come in our way. And then I'm going to go and <coughs> uh, follow this and I'm going to go simulate cloth cloth surface and I'm going to drag the sphere inside the cloth surface and in the uh, uh, here in the object I'm going to set the thickness to 1 so it gives us a small amount of thickness as you can see here we can actually go for 2 if you want and then we want to go and drag this into a hypenopse so it gives a smooth rounding as you can see here okay and then we want to go and we want to go to MoGraph cloner and you want to drop the subdivision surface inside the cloner and this is what we get so in the cloner we want to go and set the mode to radial and you want to bring down the radius and we want to set the count to 15 and we want to change the orientation to XZ okay brilliant perfect that looks amazing okay once we're done with that we're gonna go and duplicate the cloner and here in the corners I'm gonna set the Y to 10 and uh, the banking I'm going to set that to 12 oops control Z we want to set the heading to 12 so that we have uh, this kind of a uh, different uh, uniformity uh, uniformity I would say I don't know what you would call it exactly and uh, let's make some more changes over here go to the deformer and here I'm going to set the strength to say around 250 to give it a bit of randomness okay that's looking good okay then we're gonna duplicate this thing again and here I'm gonna set the count to 10 go to the coordinates I'm gonna set the Y to 15 and uh, here in the heading I'm gonna set that to 45 okay let's see what we get and uh, we want to go to the bend deformer and set the strength to 225 then let's duplicate this cloner one last time we want to go and set uh, the count to 10 uh, coordinates we want to set the y to 20 the h rotation to 22.5 okay and then we want to go to the object uh, okay here and uh, in the brand we want to set the strength to 200 okay so we have a cool randomness Okay, so once we're done, we're going to go and grab a new sphere. And here, the radius, I'm going to set that to uh, 70 and the segments to 50. And in the coordinates, I'm going to set that to around 0 0.5. Actually, uh, we want that to be 0 here. And on the size, we're going to set that to 0 0.5. Okay, and then what we can do is we can go and uh, push it down. You know, somewhere like that. That looks uh, pretty decent. 
So it looks like we're done with the modeling. So let's go and uh, create a material. So in the color, we want to go to texture and choose a surfaces and uh, tiles. Let's get into the tiles. And uh, we want to choose hexagon. Uh, hexagons, okay. And uh, the graph color will be black. And uh, the tile one and tile two color will be of the same. So uh, let's say uh, something like that. So 230 on the banking. And I'm just going to drag it down by holding control. And uh, I'm going to drag this down by holding control again. And here we want to uh, bring down the brightness. Okay, something like that. Once that is done, I'm going to go and choose a layer. And let's get into the layer. And here we want to choose a uh, distort. We want to go choose the noise type to Veroni 1. Actually, let's select uh, Veroni 2. We want to set the strength to 55 and uh, the noise scale to 75. And uh, the wrap to seamless. So once we're done with that, we can go and we can drop it on the cloners. So let's drag it up. And we're going to select these all four. And we're going to set the projection to flat. Okay. It gives us a good uh, looking uh, effect. Uh, one more thing we want to do. We're going to go to reflection channel. Choose it for now. Set the brightness to 10. And uh, the mix strength to 20. Actually, let's set this to say something around 30, and uh, the mix, mix strength will be 40. And then we can go and uh, we can uh, duplicate this. And uh, here we can remove the color. We can go to luminance, add a Fresnel texture. We can go here, and I'm going to bring this in. We can go and to the black, and we can change that to a sort of a light pink. And here we can go and choose this to, you know, a dark purple, something like that. Good. Uh, the reflection, uh, we can set that to say 50 for the, uh, let's say 40 for the brightness and uh, 65 for the mixed strength, whatever it is. And we can take this and drop it on the sphere. So after that, we're going to have something like this with a beautiful render. And I just used one of the uh, uh, studios by Grayscale Gorillas, like it pro. And uh, thank you very much for watching again. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, and see you guys in another tutorial. Take care.